Good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowan here with Yorksville First Midvale and Newport Global Methodist Church. Bring you a devotional today out of the book of James in James 5, verse 13. It says, Are any of you suffering hardship? You should pray. Are any of you happy? You should sing praises. I love this verse so much because it gives uh, it gives you something to do for both circumstances. Are you in need? Do you struggle hard do you struggle with hardships? Are there things in your life that 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 bring you pause or things in your life that that just disrupt you pray about it what's the first thing you do when you're in trouble i hope that you get down on your hands and knees and pray i hope that that is your fighting stance your your prayer is your fighting stance because if not if not then then what what is your solution what do you do when you're in trouble when you're in need where do you turn to where do you try to get help there are many, many different things that you can do, and I mean, you can read self-help books. You can go go through and ask a hundred people what to do and when in trouble. And boy, there's a hundred different opinions about what the best course of action is. The Bible says, pray, pray, because when you pray, you ask God, you invoke the power of the Creator to to work in your life, to move in your life, and that is what you need. And then don't forget, you know, sometimes we're really, really good at asking for things but not so good at praising god when we get those things and so the bible says then are you happy did god answer your prayers are you at a point now where maybe you're not in need well then sing praises worship god give him thanks give him glory because he has worked in your life we ought to do the two things come to our come to god with our problems absolutely but come to god with our praises also Sing praises unto him. Let him know how grateful you are. Give your thankful hearts to the Lord. Praise God for all that he has done. And I hope that we are praising God a lot more than we're just asking him for things. If you're a parent, think about this. What kind of relationship would you have with your kids if the only time you ever heard from them was when they needed something? They need money and so they call you. But then they don't call you again until they need something else. What kind of relationship would that be? And maybe some of you have, have experienced that. How do you think it feels to God when the only time he hears from his beloved children are when we need something from him? Dad, I want to borrow the car. Dad, give me money. Help me with this. Help me with this. Help me with this. Sing your praises to the Lord. Come. Yes, he's ready for your request. But make sure you also come with grateful hearts. Make sure you also come singing his praises because that is what he deserves. So you've got two things today. Are you in trouble? Pray. Are you happy? Sing praises. Amen.